um, I'm going to open the select boards meeting. It is March 1st. It is 6.05. Um, and I'm going to, and this is going to be recorded and shown on local cable and Zoom and, uh, but uh, through YouTube as well. So um, it will be available. Currently, we have uh, Tom Galvin, Skip Clark, and Anita Carlson, our town clerk, on. We, do we have any other spectators to meet that you can see? No, it's just us. Okay. So we just have a couple of quick items. Um, the first being accepting the resignation of uh, Carol Benoit as of May 8th from the Board of Selectmen. If I can get a motion. I'll make the motion to accept Carol's reg resignation with sadness. And can we get a second? Second. Okay, any other second. discussion? Second. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Uh, any could other I, discussion? Lenny, could I... Linda, can I just ask one question? Sure. Just, just as a formality, why was it as of May eighth and not immediately? That's the date of the election, correct, Anita? Yes. So that's the, oh. the end of this, uh, this, this, uh, this term. Okay. So, so she okay. technically so, can. Yeah, exactly. She, I think she so wanted she, to be available if you, you know, if, if at all possible, if you needed her. So. Yeah. She'll, she'll she'll continue, but it will just vacate her her spot for for the next fiscal year. Okay. Okay. Any other discussion? Okay. If I can get a roll call uh, vote. Clark I. Galvin I. And Nichols I with regret. And then the second item is for posting of the uh, of the position. Skip, if you can make a motion. I'd like to make a motion. I move that the board of board votes to place the vacant one year seat on the select board term to expire in May of 2024 on the election warrant of Rutland's annual town meeting to be held on Monday, May 8, 2023, and further notify the town clerk in writing of said vote. Second. Okay. Any discussion? I'm here, guys. I don't have any discussion. Oh, oh thanks, Leah. Uh, Anita, do you just want to kind of just explain a little bit how this works so the board um, understands? Yes. yes. So what what will happen now, the, the two three-year seats will remain on the ballot. This will be a separate seat for, for one year. Um, I was pretty sure of the answer, but I double checked with the state, um, the other the secretary's office the other day. If anybody wanted to take out papers who have already taken out papers for the three year seat and are, con you know, are considering also taking out for the one that they're allowed to do that, they may return papers for both a one year seat and a three year seat. But the caveat is that nobody can appear on the ballot for two different seats in one office. So if somebody did choose to do that, they would have to, um, there's a resignation or a pulling of your nomination papers date, and they would have to do that by, I believe it's Wednesday, April 5th, because after that day, that's when the ballot goes to uh, the printer. So, and the nomination papers, the, the time frame is the same. They're due, um, they're due back in our office on Monday, March 20th, and have to be pulled by Thursday, March 16th. Um, our office is open Monday through Thursday from 4th, you know, until 4.30. But as as we've done in the past and, and also offered this year, if anyone can't make it into the office during those times, and even if it's if they can only make it on a weekend, we'll be um, happy to make arrangements so that someone can pull papers. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, does anybody have any, any questions for Anita? Sure, sure, Tom. Yeah, Anita, I just had a quick question. So if nobody applies for the one year and say you have five people put in for the position wouldn't it just would, would the would that one year go to the third highest amount of votes or does it have to be a separate no it has to be separate if if nobody pulls papers it'll be deemed vacant and then it, it could go back to um 
you know, you operating with four people or deciding to call a special, special election to seat somebody. And the only thing that you have to worry about is that not only, the only way that um, a select board member can be replaced is by ballot. And if, if, if your board decided to just try to go for another two years without a fifth person, uh, 200 uh, legal voters of Rutland can call a special election. So it's best to avoid something like that. So hopefully somebody will come forward and want to take out the papers. Let's hope so. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, if I can get a roll call vote. Clock aye. Galvin aye. Whiteman aye. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and Nichols aye. All right. Um, thank you very much for everybody coming on so quickly. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Tamika. And if I can get a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. In a second. Second. And roll call. Clark aye. Calvin aye. Whiteman aye. And Nichols aye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye, guys.